So I'm shooting outdoors today. It's a gorgeous day out. Thought might as well take advantage of the opportunity. What I wanted to talk to you about today was outsourcing the non-critical task in your business to somebody else. That is necessary for you to bring your business to the next level. Now, how do you know when you need to start to outsource to other people? Well, a good check that I do, and a lot of business owners that I work with uh, have adopted this approach, is you need to take a week where you diarize how you're spending your time. And if you realize that at the end of that week, you're not spending your time on the critical task needed to grow your business, then it's time to bring somebody else in to overtake some of those tasks. So if you see that 30% of your time or 50% of your time is spent on admin task, answering emails, not business development emails, but just emails in general about servicing clients or anything that's non-critical for you to be doing, then it's time to bring somebody else in to do those tasks. Early on in your business, it's a challenge to come up with the cost, uh, the money to pay for those costs, and in addition to find the right people. Something that's worked well is hiring a contractor early on in your business to take over these non-critical tasks. A good place to find someone would be these websites like Upwork, that's what I've used many times. Uh, these are people that are professionals in certain types of industries at a variety of costs, variety of countries in the world. And you know you can really rely on them to take over those admin tasks five or 10 hours a week or whatever's needed. Once your business grows and scales, it'll make sense to hire a full-time person for those tasks. But early on, it doesn't make sense financially. And also, even if you find someone who's willing to sit there all day, you're just not gonna have anything for them to do. And if they're a really motivated person, they're not gonna be happy just sitting around doing nothing all day. I mean, that's not the kind of person you want in your business. I see a lot of business owners working 80, 90 hours a week, and you know that's a trophy to them. They say, oh, I work really hard. And that, in business, you have to work very hard. There's no dispute about that. But it's really how you spend your time that is gonna differentiate you know, the successful business owner and the non-successful business owner. So if that 80 hours a week is spent, 60% of it on non-essential tasks, then you know, to me, that's a failure. Um, you know, early on, you have to do all those things because you know, you're still financially probably not there or you haven't proven your business concept. But as you grow, the only way to move forward is to let go. And it's very hard for many business owners to let go. They're scared. And I understand, I mean, early on in my career as a business owner, I was scared too to relinquish things. I thought, well, what if the other person messes it up? Well, guess what? You're gonna have to get comfortable with things not being perfect in your business. Things only have to be 80% correct uh, for your business to succeed. Um, you know, you have to really determine what are the key things that have to be right in my business and maybe those you strive and you oversee sort of 90 or 100% there. But the other things in your business, as long as you're done pretty well, um, clients, especially loyal ones that, you know, you've built a relationship with are pretty forgiving when it comes to, you know, oversights. But if you structured your business properly to begin with, meaning you created processes, and this is something I'm going to talk about in a whole another video. If you created processes and strong structure from the onset, then there shouldn't be a lot of errors. So in summary, make sure you outsource tasks that are non-essential, non-critical, things that other people can do early on in your business so that you don't become that person who's working 90 hours a week answering emails and you know doing the bookkeeping in the background. 